Hi guys, welcome to my first question and answer video. I'm going to um, start shooting some videos replying to some of the questions that you guys leave uh, in the comments of my videos. So if you have any question um, while you're watching my videos or any doubts that you have while playing or watching other videos, feel free to comment um, on my videos and uh, every once in a while I'll select some questions and uh, I will answer them. Okay, so Harry Owing is asking um, when I practice the heel up on the floor if it's the ball of my foot or the toes that are actually um, making the kick, that actually are, are creating the impact. So to answer the question straight away, the ball of the foot is the what uh, it's touching the ground. But um, rather than just answering in that way, I want to explain uh, briefly what happens in my foot while I do this. So basically my toes are, I raise my toes a little bit when in the up motion, when my foot, I lift my foot, because the toes have kind of like the roll, let's imagine that when we jump in the water, we do the jumping with our legs of course, but the upper part of our body helps us to kind of like get the right um, dynamic to jump. It's like a helping uh, part of jumping in the water. The same thing happened. It's, it's a weird example, I know, but it's a, it's a good way of explaining what happens in my toes because that's exactly the feeling that I have. So basically, um, the toes help the um, up motion. And uh, then when I go in the down part instead, I just relax the toes. I never um, contract the toes going down side, down way, okay? Um, they're always up, relax, up, relax. So if I would then contract the toes, then eventually the toes will be the ones doing the hit. If I keep contracting and stressing the toes too much, this will eventually, when I speed up, uh, avoid ha of me from having a um, fluent motion and instead I want to be as relaxed as possible. So that's what what's happening and so it's the ball of the, the foot that it's touching the ground. But rather than thinking of what part of the foot it's hitting the ground, I think of the toes, how they're moving. If you do this with your hand and you feel your fingers and you understand what's happening in, your fing in the fingers of your hand, it's the same thing that it's happening on, um, in the foot, okay? So focus on, on that part rather than understanding what part of the foot is hitting the ground. I know it could be a reference, but uh, you have to focus on the relaxation rather than what part, because then if you focus on, oh, that part of the foot has to hit the ground, um, you will think of that and maybe you do a, a wrong uh, you develop wrong motion, wrong habits because you're focusing on something that it's eventually not uh, the most important thing, okay? Um, it, that doesn't really matter how it lands. In, in the moment that the foot is doing the right thing, that's what matters. If it feels good and it sounds good, that's what it is, okay? Usually when it feels and it sounds good, everything is working perfectly, even when you speed up, and you will feel that the ball of the foot is hitting the ground. This comment from Gregory Stewart that compares me to Bruce Lee. First of all, thank, thank you very much. I wish I was um, at, that, at those levels. But um, the funny thing is that in all my researches, um, one day I actually found myself reading all the Bruce Lee approach of, you know, of course, and, and Kung Fu, Bruce Lee is just, um, yeah. Um, very known for, for those of that, that, that kind of approach, but all the Kung Fu approach of uh, uh, controlling the body and then use the external forces uh, and take advantage of the external forces, so to kind of synchronize whatever um, you're dealing with. And it's funny because it's exactly what I did in my, all, all my technique um, development and, and my method is based on that and, and it really my journey has been from 
starting to understand that the gear wasn't the issue, that my body didn't move um, without, you know, um, on, on its own, and it was all about my brain, and then so I started researching more about the brain and discovered uh, that it, everything is way more articulated and complicated than what it seems, that building muscular memories is not uh, really the only thing. There's a lot of psychology going in, it depends on our character, it depends on uh, many things, and, and so um, it's funny because I, I one day found out that information about Bruce Lee and I was like, wow, um, this, this is really like a very similar approach to what I did on drums. And so when I read this comment, I was uh, surprised because somebody else um, saw the same thing. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Golden Girlson instead asks me if uh, I prefer the Iron Cobra to the Dynasync. Um, I did a more specific video on the, the Dynasync and um, why I like them, um, even though I never played Direct Drive. I think Iron Cobra is a very good pedal because um, it's, it's done in a way that it's a very balanced pedal, okay? So if you put the, the beater at around 45 degrees, the pedal, the beater goes backward. And if you put it a little bit less than 45 degrees, it goes uh, more towards the front. So it's kind of like it has those, that 45 degrees <coughs> perfect balance. And that's really how the pedal is the pedal is built it's a very balanced pedal and that's why i think um it's it works so good for so many uh drummers instead if you try this with other pedals you will see that those pedals usually tend to lean all towards the back or all towards the front so um it's a, it's a it, it gives you a different feel but i suggest to when you go and and choose a pedal in a store to make sure take the spring off and see how the pedal works because then the spring of course it will keep the pedal in check but that's not the natural setting and the natural feel of how a pedal is built so without the spring you get that balance okay or if you want something that goes all towards the front or more towards the back um, you can check it by getting rid of the spring or changing the camera because really then it's also the camera it's the uh, space of action that also balances but let's say that the iron cobra comes out like pretty much already very very balanced so that's what I like about it uh, and then I can do I can reach all the speeds that I need uh, with this pedal so I never felt the need of changing but when I went to the dynasting the good thing about the dynasting is that by changing these two settings that they've added you can actually change the balance of the pedal so you can have the pedal going leaning all the way towards the front or all the way towards the back or yeah and then from there you can select how much you want the pedal to be balanced in a way or the other and that was very special to me because that's exactly what I would like to feel it's like one pedal that has many different pedals uh, balances in the same pedal just by those settings without touching the spring. So my problem with the, uh, the direct drives pedal is that it always felt um, weird uh, that it didn't have power when I was going with the slower stuff and I didn't like that feeling. But instead here, as you can see, you, you can actually modify the camera uh, depth basically so you can have more action so it's a more rounded kick or less action so it's a more straightforward kick okay there's a very good detailed video on a Tamoa channel that explain the design of this uh, and will make you understand so now I'm mainly using the Dynasync because I really found settings that um, have the feel that I wanted and uh, of course the direct drive has, has less lag when you speed up rather than the, the, the chain which might have a little motion and you feel it when you, when you speed, uh, when you play very fast even though I could still do everything with uh, Iron Cobra so 
yeah, these are my two choices. Sometimes I use Iron Cobra, mainly use DynaSync now. I'm very happy with those. And um, again, I'll suggest you guys to just, uh, whenever you go in a store, get rid of the spring of the pedal and uh, see how it feels, see how the pedal works. DynaSync, you can take off the spring and uh, change the settings, the two settings here and here on the board and, and the comma, and see how the pedal works. And then you can put the, the spring back up and see each setting how, how it feels. And if you find something like your, your setting, uh, then great. If not, you probably can skip changing the setting until you find it because it really gives you so many options and so many different feels. The spell can go from playing jazz to extreme metal. So, okay, guys, so thank you for. Uh, asking me questions and be interested in my videos. Um, I will do this every once in a while, so uh, I already have many questions that I will go through and select some. Um, but if you have any other question or um, things that you want to know, just uh, comment on my videos and um, I'll select some and do this every once in a while. So I'll see you soon.